Hello again and welcome to Paul's Racing Channel to the Ultimate Racing League. Race 2 from round 4 of the League 1 GR3 Championship. We're in Sardinia in Italy. Fantastic race 1, wasn't it? This is race 2, second of our 15 minutes. And uh, glad to say that uh, all the liveries are back on. I, I, the, the livery guys, the wrappers of these cars, the garage guys, they do a fantastic job to get these back up to... Uh, proper spec if you like between the races so um, I don't know how they do it but uh, fantastic anyway everyone's all looking splendid right so this is race two this is the uh, finishing positions from race one so here we go again then this is the grid so Dirk in pole position we've got Callum in second Fitzy in third Aussie Rooster in fourth Kenny D in fifth Jerry sixth Conrod seventh Sideways in eighth Biggie ninth Slowpoke in tenth Firepower eleventh Seabrook in twelfth Smokey Tom in thirteenth Kevin fourteenth and Graham in fifteenth here we go watch those lights and we're off good start by everybody they're going with softs again. Just leaving the mediums till last. So he fancies a, a double victory here straight off the bat. Fits you up to second straight away. Kenny came down to fourth. Kenny's got through to third already. Callum has dropped a couple of places already off the line. I think the Audi's the quickest off the line, is it? They're looking through this right hand hairpin. Oh, and we got firepower off at the back, and fortunately didn't take anyone out, but he had a little moment, didn't he? Oh no, hang on. Conrod this time. Didn't know if it was Graham again, but no, it's Conrod. So let's see, he must have hit the wall, must need at turn one. Let's have a look. Let's stay with Conrod. Yeah, it was very wide there. And oh, he actually gets shoved out of the way, doesn't he? By one of the Subarus, I think. Let's go back on board a minute and see. It's not one. This is one of the camera cars anyway on Conrod. Let's just have a look and see. He's, he's on the outside. What's this on the inside here? Can't see at this point. And the gets tagged oh, I don't know we might have to go back and see that was it some Kev oh it was C Broad I think C Broad so he got done didn't he it's firepower's moment as well so all a little bit messy through there yeah that's where he ran wide again I think it was a little touch there but Conrad yeah he got pushed out not intentionally, but he was on the outside, and I think it was just momentum that just in the wrong place at the wrong time, unfortunately. But he's a long way back, and it might be a safety car, unfortunately for him, because it's only him off. So he's going to have a big, big challenge ahead of him. Was, who was that? Was that Jerry having a, a little squiggly time there? I think it was. I do like my squiggly word, don't I? I don't even know where that's come from, but uh, I think that was Jerry going through. And then giving it a bit too much revs yep ah, he's settled it down nicely his uh, teammate behind him in seventh sideways big up the inside of him side by side coming down towards church corner now sideways has got it just but biggie's going to be on the inside he's going to be bravest on the brakes well i think biggie was but uh, then he ran it wide later on the brakes for sure but uh, lost that in the end so back to eight, he goes sideways in seventh behind his teammate Jerry in seventh. It's hectic here at the start of this race. This lot here as well at the back. See Broad, Smokey, Tom, Graham, Kev. Who's that? Who's that? Graham this time. It's the other Porsche. The Porsches are having a dreadful time. Uh, here, aren't they? Graham had a... He was in the inside here, coming through this fast. Right, left, and then again, I think he was... Yeah, he was kind of... The wrong side, really, had nowhere to go. Don't really want to be on the outside, coming through there. And then, just lost his braking, didn't he? Before he knows it, he's, uh, he's head first into that barrier. So, the Porsches, that, that one in Conrad. Yeah, are already out of this race. Dirk, very much in it, isn't he? 
He's still leading this charge ahead with uh, Fitzy and Kenny. And battle of their own. Cullen back to fourth and Fitzy having a battle with Kenny here. Still holding it off though, but then he runs wide. Kenny's going to lose a spot there. Yes, he did. I think again, I think it was just a little bit too hot in there. The pressure from Fitzy came round, and I think he just, yeah, he comes out of shot a little bit, but he, yeah, he just ran it off wide basically. That allowed Callum Fitzy to go through. He drops Kenny back to fourth, so a little moment for him there. It'll be unfortunate. So this battle could resumes between these two. This is what. We had in race one, didn't we? And it's uh, bubbling up again nicely here in race two. So, it's time though. Fitzy wants to try get better than third place. So, up to second at the moment. Still early days, of course. Rooster there in fifth. So much better with the liveries on, isn't it? They're great liveries. Trust Dan Kenny and then Biggie. Sixth sideways and seventh. Jerry eighth. Slowpoke ninth. Sue Broad in tenth. Then Kev, uh, sorry, Smokey in eleventh. Beautiful shot of them coming through the first. Being hard on the brakes here. Smokey Tom looking a little bit impatient behind C. Broad. Really wants to get past him, doesn't he? But at the moment, C. Broad is holding him off. Difficult corner that, or oh, was that see what uh, was that slow poke having a look at uh, Jerry? Think he was having a look, don't think he got it done, or has he? He might have got it done now. He has, I think the sheer pace of that Genesis just got it past the McLaren behind him out the corner. But by the time they got a little bit further, he was past Jerry up to eighth spot from slow poke. Jerry Knife, Smokey Tom in 10th. Did get past C. Broad, so C. Broad back to 11th. Jerry on the medium, so he's in between all the softs there. Slowpoke soft. Smokey Tom is soft. C. Broad also is soft. And, uh, Jerry's on those medium tyres and he's. I think he's been taken by Smokey Tom, he has, so he drops down to 10th now, does Jerry. Get it back here though, in the slip. Better off staying where you are though, and remember, don't get that. No, he's keeping well clear this time, he's not that silly. Damn that, I'm not going to do that again. It took my engineers hours to rebuild the front axle of my car from race one. Kevin 12, 5 power 13th. And uh, the two Porsches, Conrad and Graham, in 14th and 15th. It's a great track. As I say again, I reiterate, this is a great track. People, a lot of people don't like it, only really because of the fact there's not really that many passing opportunities, but in terms of a natural track and the layout itself, Obviously a road course, but it is, it is a good course. Just not very easy to pass on, but if you're in the right spot at the right time, you're right now. What's happened to Fitzy? Fitz is in fourth. Now he's lost a place, hasn't he, to Kenny. He's got half a second penalty as well. That obviously whatever happened, he's lost some time now. Kenny's obviously gone past because he was actually he was up in second, wasn't he, Fitzy, the last time we was with him. So actually he's gone back a couple of spots, so just as I was saying he wanted to try and improve on that third place from race one. 
lot he is because he's under pressure from this lot now. It's Aussie now almost pushing Big E along. Is he kind of pull out of that slip in the turn one? No, he isn't. He'll sit there, maybe get him on the brakes at turn two. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he'll let the uh, maybe he'll have a go at it in the barrier if I can find him. There he is. Yeah, front damage there as usual. The side where you're smashing at the barrier, so he drops a couple of places there down the seventh. It's unfortunate for Aussie. He was looking quick in that Mustang, wasn't he? Halfway through the race now. Berg with that fastest lap, 140.483. See, let's go to our leader and see how he's doing. Well, he's faultless at the minute, isn't he? We haven't seen a mistake from him. We haven't seen many mistakes from him from the last few rounds. If I'm honest. This is dominant, to say the least. He's got no answer to him at the moment. I mean, we'll take a second place again, but must be thinking, what the hell have I got to do to get, you know, unfortunately for Callum, the car's not the quickest off the line, and that Merc is. It's quicker than him anyway, I think everyone's quicker than the uh, the Audi, but yeah, it's, I think he's just losing it at the start. If, he, if he's quicker off the line, he be uh, a bit closer, I think, but by the time he gets his groove on, unfortunately, Doug's already got his on, and he's, uh, he's away. He's smooth as well, he's Dirk. So Callum will take second, as I say. It'll be a battle all the way through the rounds. Kenny, though, looking good as well. And that's Berg's teammate in third place. And both Mercs going really, really well here in race two. Fitzy in fourth. He'd be uh, slightly annoyed with himself, I think, being up here in second battle with Callum to them being dropped down to fourth penalty I know he had and I think he must have got that by maybe an incident somewhere didn't see it obviously so I'm guessing here but whatever it was it's uh, fortunately dropped him down in positions in the in fifth place He's looking quick in that Genesis. The Genesis are looking pretty quick anyway, so Fitz has got to be a little bit careful to lose that fourth place for Big E. Big E, uh, that really big moment in race one. So he's trying to redeem himself here in race two. Not he's got to prove any what the point to anybody, but I'm sure he wants to prove to himself that uh, the car's quick and he is right up behind Fitzy now. Oh, just did that curve a little bit wrong, but didn't really affect him too badly. Sideways, going sideways out of uh, the final corner. Sideways by an eight, sideways by an eight, yeah. But he's under pressure from Aussie, who's um, again be another frustrated Mustang driver after a good start. It's a big hit there. Oh, and I'll just see someone else hit it. Have a smoky this time. That's going to be exactly the same. The front right corner. So people are really, really hitting that, aren't they? Here, let's just watch it anyway. We know. I mean, we know it's going to happen, but obviously he's in the slip of. Slow poke and he didn't get out right at all. That was a big hit, that's as big as Jerry's. So, uh, a little bit of work for the uh, Honda team during the uh, break. So, rolled in 10th. Relatively quiet race for Seabroad. With the uh, much going on for him. Again, he started well, got himself right up. Quick start. And um, kind of find himself sort of midfield here now, alone and a bit, a bit isolated. It's Conrad, who's actually, in fairness, got himself back into the middle of this group now because he was at the back after they uh, do his little incident. So that's one of the Porsches up into 11th. Look, Kevin 12th. 
He's been struggling a little bit here, around here. He's changed the colour of his wheels, actually. I remember, I think he had purple wheels last time, so uh, probably, uh, well, very light green wheels this time. Hint colour, if you like. But what colour he'll come out with next round. Maybe it's a uh, new colour for every round, eh? To find out from him, actually. Graham attacking Kev. So, Graham's up to it, 13th. So again, the Porsches are just slowly making their way through, but a little bit late in the day now. Only three minutes left of this second race to uh, to do too much. But he's going to have a go, Graham. The inside of Kev. Kev, loads of room from Kev. Racing between them, so Graham's got that done. No problem from Graham, and maybe there is. It's nicely parked anyway, I've got to say. Very nice. Not the right direction, but uh, it's not the first time that Porsche has gone round there, is it, on that final corner? So, yeah, I think um, enough's enough. I think Graham will be saying to himself, Jerry's got through to 14, who's dropped all the way back. And I don't know what's happened to Jerry, but he's in 14th place now. Let's go back to our leader then with 13 minutes on the clock. Home's not even in sight, it's about to come round now. No, he's got big gap here as Derg. Carries on like this. He's gonna find himself in with the League of Champions at the end of the season. It's on this evidence. You wouldn't say he doesn't deserve to be there. Would you and uh, no, anyone who can beat Callum more than once? Callum's also another one who would be looking to get into that League of Champions, but to beat Callum is uh, an achievement in itself, whoever you are. Kenny as well, doing really well in third place. Merck's looking really strong around here. Glad these boys have got this car under control. I can just about get it under control myself. It's a lovely car to drive once you, uh, once you get the grips with it. It's got the overall pace, flat out speed, but that's a pretty good car all round, really. Fitzy in fourth, Biggie in fifth, so Fitzy's still holding off Biggie. Down the hill now, under the bridge, towards the church. Find this right hand up. Touch of the barrier for Biggie. Up to his next. Left hand up. Quick spurt of power through the right hand up. Use all the curb on the left, then all the way up to. I've missed. It. Did I go over? Saw it, missed it. So he did win. Uh, he did get that second place. Uh, he did get that win, I should say, in the second race. Get it right in a minute. Callum with second here. Kenny third place. Sorry, Dirk. I was uh, too busy concentrating on the other stuff behind it. I missed you going over the line, but we, we got it in the end. Fitzy in fourth, Biggie fifth. Two Rooster in sixth. I didn't realise we was at the end of the race, actually. Sideways in seventh, Slowpoke in eighth, Sea Broad in ninth. Rod close behind in tenth place, which is good, really, considering what happened to him in that race. Smokey Tom in eleventh. And cuts a bit of grass as well for the groundsman. Firepower in 12th. Jerry will come in. Sorry, Kevin 13th, sorry. Jerry will come in in 14th. And we've got Graham coming in in 15th. So a bit of a messy race that one. Very entertaining still though. So join me for the third and final race here at Sardinia. And uh, that'll be up soon. So see you then.